Okay, today we have the Unity UT210E Pro for review. Uh, first of all, this has a really nice feel to it. Even the top plastic right here has a good tactile feel to it. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Nice case. Yeah, it's, it's really well made on the outside. All the buttons are positive. This button right here, this dial indicator is rubberized around the outside. Again, the centerpiece has a really good feel of plastic to it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It was really nice. And uh, it's got nice deadened sound to it. Dampened. Rolls nice and easily, but locks into place clearly, uh, solidly. This has a good, nice tension on it. It's about that big. This is perfect for what I want as long as it works. I'm only using it mostly for low voltage DC current testing and continuity test for shorts. And uh, I have other other multimeters that will do this, but they don't. They're not the clamp type, and that's really easy because when you want to get a current rating with a clamp meter, you just do that, and you're good to go. You don't have to set it up and make the multimeter a, a circuit in it and all that. It's a lot easier. This will probably become my main multimeter. One thing I do want to say is I usually take these apart and we what we do is we do an inspection on the inside to see what kind of protections they have. However, the Unity line of clamp meters has a lot of reviews on the internet. You can look them up and they do go in and take these off. And down here are two nice size PTCs matched up with two nice size MOVs, metal oxide varistors for protection. And a lot of Chinese uh, meters do not do that. They just use diodes, which are okay, but uh, this is from what I've seen on other sites and you can look those up yourself uh, The internals of this are protected pretty darn well and uh, uh, The cat rating on them is cat 3 300 volts and cat 2 600 volts. That's pretty that's pretty modest, you know um, cat 3 of course is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, Three phase, that's getting up there. I wouldn't use this for that. I just use it for home and for low voltage stuff, and you're going to be fine. Uh, from what I've seen, the internals, like I said, are pretty clean. They're pretty nice. So let's put the batteries in this and get it all set up. And we're going to do some current testing with it because that's what it is. It's a DC AC DC current tester, clamp meter, and that's what it's going to be used for. Right away, this is nice. The uh, screw holding in the, uh, the screw right here holding in the. Uh, back plate for the batteries is uh, nice, it's thick, it feels good, good plastic. This whole thing is made out of really nice plastic. It has a, a brass insert here for the screw to go in, so you're not going to ever wear that out. It's a real screw, it's not just a self-tapping screw. So that's really good. It also takes two AAs, which are really, are two AAAs, two AAAs, which are really easy to find. I like that, better than the 9 volt. Uh, if you have rechargeables, you can put that in there. I don't know if they'll work or not. Some but he was saying that the alkalines only work in here in most of them, but anyway, it doesn't matter. They're really cheap, easy to find. So that's a good thing. All right, let me get the batteries in it. Okay, another nice meat. Uh
Okay, so for those of you who don't know, in order to get a current rating, reading off of a multimeter, you have to set the multimeter up with this, with the, uh, with its uh, leads in it, and you have to connect them to the positive and the negative, and make it a. Uh, actually, you don't connect it to the positive and the negative. You connect it to the positive side. I guess you could do it to the negative side, but you do it to the positive side, and uh, you make it one. You make it one, uh, you make it a circuit, okay? So you put this into the power side, and this comes out the power side, and this goes to the the uh, power side of the uh, lights or whatever you want to energize. It's kind of a pain in the butt. With these, you know, with that, with the clamp meter, you don't need this. You just throw that stuff to the side over there, and you use the clamp meter itself. It's just so easy. You just put the meter... You put the clamp around the, uh, the, uh, it doesn't matter how it goes. You put the clamp in there like that, and that's all you do to get a current meeting. And it's so clean. See, I have, I have this little light strip here. I have some, I have these, uh, leads soldered on here. This is RGB 12 volt. And I have a little power brick over here that powers them. And then I made this little barrel clamp here with the positive and the return. So, that's all you do. So what we're going to do is we're going to illuminate these 100% and uh, then we're going to illuminate them with the red. I think the red takes the least amount of power just to see how accurate, not how accurate it is, but how low it'll go, what, it read out, what the readout looks like and everything. So we have this ready to go here. Let's see if I can get it on the picture here. So all we need to do now is just turn it on. And we're going to go with two amps here, and it is uh, two amps AC DC. You don't have to find it at all. You just two amps AC DC ready to go. And there we go. And AC, we're going to select it. Now it's a DC. We're going to zero it. There we go. And we're going to plug it in. And there we go, they're all on. That means it's because they're white, that means they're all powered up. And we're showing 0.23 amps. And uh, I can tell you if that's correct or not because I know how much each one of these puts out. Uh, and we're gonna multiply that out. I'll put the formula up on the uh, video here shortly. But it's showing us, it's a nice readout, see? 0.24. four that's really nice and uh, it works well like that now let's just take these off and we'll just light the red up and I think the red takes the least amount of power so there they are they're nice and red and it's showing 0 0.65 0 0.065 amp see well, that's that's nice 0 0.065 that's you know uh, getting down there so it's I'm pretty happy with that um, there's another one here we can test it with also just just to play around with it a little bit I mean that's, that's the fun of it right so we have one here with only three LEDs on it let's try that but I want to show you how easy this is see it's just the power lead goes into the uh, goes into the into the meter here and that's it you put it on DC you zero it and you're good to go that's what's so nice about these things so yeah you know uh, they're really worth it if you do this kind of work. All right, so black is the power in this case, so I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna put the power on it here, like this. There we go. Of course you wanna turn over on me. Uh-huh, okay.
And then we're just gonna hook these up together here like this, clamp them together. You gotta be careful with this too. If you touch, I wanna tell you right now, if you're doing this kind of work and you're new to it, like I am, if you touch the positive and the negative together, this right here with this over here, it'll short the lights out. So just be aware of that. There we go. And that is drawing point. Let's well, see, it's bouncing around because, uh, yeah, there we go. It's bouncing around because I don't have the connection here really well. But anyway, it's, it's on now, bright. It's on all the way. It's pulling 0.55 amps. That's, that's pretty darn good. Okay, let's try this. I want to zero this thing out. Zero. There we go. I'll try it again. Now you can see this is bouncing around because it's not it's not powering all of them because I don't have my connection right. That's okay. I'll just mess with it a little bit. And... You can actually solder them together if you want to. Or just get a better clamp. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. There you go. Oops, bounced around again, see? Okay, now it's, that's, now it's point, point zero six zero amps. Let me try this one more time, see if I can get this bit, connect a little bit better, contact a little better. There. When you move it around, it's gonna do that, see? Because it's, it's not connecting, contacting well. <laughs> there we go. Well. Let's see here. Try it again. There we go. Yeah, 0 0.058 amps. It's on white, as you can see, bright white. 0 0.059 amps. That's that's perfect. You know, this thing this thing is beautiful. This is going to be my new go-to. Ah, oh, we got to check continuity. Let's do that really quickly. Uh, let me unplug all this. Make sure you all always unplug your power brick because if you touch these two things together, you can short it out. If it's plugged in, is you're working with exposed leads here, so you might want to get some that aren't exposed. I do have some. <clears throat> anyway, uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and shut this off. There we go. Let's plug this in. All right, now let's try a continuity test here. So. Everybody knows it's going to buy this. I don't know if you might not know what a continuity test is. Maybe maybe people are just buying this just to to clamp a voltage or something, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, if you're soldering these together like I do, you always want to check them beforehand for any shorts or anything. and uh, Or you want to cross-check them to make sure you don't have any, any connections where there shouldn't be or you short them out. So we're going to test this right now. Let's turn it on. There we go, and it is on ohms. We don't want that, so continuity. There we go. Now let's try it. Let's see, there we go. Oh, that's fast. It backs off slowly, so it 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 has a little delay in it when it backs off. It's instantaneous when you touch it. Actually, it doesn't have any delay at all. I take that back. This is really nice. Yeah, it does a little bit. That's not a big deal, though. You don't want to delay when you first touch it. If it delays a little bit when you pull it off, that's okay. But it it's doing a really good job. This is really nice. Very sensitive. Yeah, that works really well. Please with the continuity. And those are the two things I'm going to use. Uh, voltage, not so much. I'll use it to test some power supplies or something once in a while. But other than that... Um, uh, what I want to do now is I want to hook this up and we're going to see if this is accurate or not because I know how much, how many watts these take per LED. And so just with some simple math, we can find out how many, how many, uh, you know, in the ballpark, you know, in how many, how many amps they take. And I don't know exactly what it'll be because it's 0 0.021 watts, I think, or 0 0.024 watts right around in that area. I got to look that up really quickly. I'll come right back and and uh, we'll see how you know, generally accurate it is. Uh, most of these meters, uh, including the ones made in the United States, the really nice ones, you know, flukes and stuff, they're all really accurate. The Chinese ones, I've never seen one that isn't accurate. Even the really bad ones, when I've opened them up, they haven't been, <laughs> they have not impressed me at all. They have uh, all been accurate. So they are accurate, they have that down. The protections sometimes aren't as good as they should be, but, but as far as accuracy goes, they are accurate, all of them that I've tested. And I've tested about, 
I don't know, about 10 or 12 of them now. So you don't have to worry about the accuracy. What The problem with these is that sometimes, like I said, the internal protections aren't up to their cat ratings, and that's just kind of the way it is. Although they probably, you haven't, I haven't heard of anybody b blowing themselves up. And, uh, but the, but the readouts are accurate. You know, the, the chip in there that's measuring the voltage of the current is accurate in all of them, even the cruddy ones. Even the ones you get at Harbor Freight, the $10 ones are accurate. So you don't have to worry about that. But I just want to see if it really is accurate by doing the math behind it and doing the theoretical uh, pull that these, that these pull, current pull. And then we'll, we'll hook up to this. And I know this is going to be accurate. This is, this is pretty quality, guys. It's, you know, it's pretty nice. So, uh, it feels good. It's, it's thick. It's tight. It doesn't slop around. Battery compartment's nice. These leads are nice. Um, so, all right. So let's get back to the, I'm going to pull these off. We'll get back to the uh, current test and we'll, we'll see, uh, if it actually is somewhat accurate. I know it's going to be. So be right back. 